So I wanted to share with you another mindset tip to help you when you're trying to uh, work on developing your regular movement practice, whether that be a dance practice or whether it be something to do with fitness or a bit of both. So what I wanted to ask you today is, do you eat three meals a day? So this is something I've been talking um, about a long time. Lots of different um, ways of developing your, your regular practice is definitely one of my favourite things to talk about and certainly something that a lot of my clients uh, are really working to build on. And one thing that comes up time and time again is not having enough time to fit in the practice into your day. However, we always find time to eat our three meals a day. Or perhaps, you know, maybe not everyone eats three meals a day. Perhaps you eat two meals a day or, you know, a snack and two meals. But whatever it is, we always find time to eat. And why is that? Well, we know that we need to fuel our body. It needs the energy from the food in order to work properly and to do all the things that we like to do while we're living. And we've done that ever since we were a baby, ever since we before we were born, we've always had to eat. However, our body also needs movement nourishment. So it's not as um, urgent perhaps as the food nourishment we have to give it, but certainly it is important to keep things moving optimally, to keep our joints working well, to keep our muscles working well. Have a think, for example, about if you've sat in a long car journey or been on an aeroplane for a long time and how stiff you feel when you stand up. Uh, obviously that's not um, happening all the time, but over gradually, gradually over time, when you're not moving muscles, when you're not moving joints, they do lose that range of motion if you're not if you're not using them. So it is important to keep up that regular practice. And it is just as important as, as eating your, your three meals a day. So um, also think about sometimes we're really sold this idea of, of going to the gym for an hour a day or, you know, perhaps you you don't go to the gym but you do a, a dance class for an hour a day but if you spend your whole day sitting at your desk and then you drive home uh, or perhaps you're working from home at the moment as a lot of us are and you're literally rolling out of bed and then sitting behind your kitchen table in your pajamas to do your work and then maybe you do some exercise and then you go and sit on the sofa for the rest of the evening watching Netflix or something along those lines really you're still living quite a sedentary lifestyle if you're only getting in a half an hour or an hour of movement a day. Mm -hmm. Particularly at the moment, with a lot of us working from home, we've even lost that morning commute, uh, the evening commute, perhaps that short walk you had to the bus stop isn't there anymore. So it's even more important to really try and find regular moments within the day to get in that movement practice and really considering them like your three meals as important as the food you eat during the day is for me a really interesting way to start to develop the mindset of someone who does do regular movement throughout the day yeah and I think we all know that movement is good for us we all know that moving our bodies makes us feel good why do we feel that resistance to it? Why do we why do we stop doing it even though it's we know we know it's good for us, we know we we should be doing it, we know it makes us feel good. I think there tends to be this resistance and I think there's often that mindset that movement has to be exercise and exercise has to be hard work, right? And then your brain kicks in and puts in that resistance. It's trying to stop you from doing something that is discomforting for you. So if you're sending signals to your brain, like um, stress signals that you don't want to do it, it's getting you stress signals and um, it stops you from doing the thing and it creates this resistance, right? But uh, not all movement has to be exercise. Not all movement has to be hard work. You don't want to be doing full on workouts all the time. Of course, your body needs to rest and recuperate, but yet you can still be doing movement. You can still be doing gentle movement practices throughout the day just to keep things moving and keep things lubricated and keep yourself mobile and active. And um, I had, um, I mentioned this in a, in a post last week as well. I had an interesting um, conversation with one of my clients, Michelle, who spoke about how she's changed her mindset to her movement practice uh, her movement breaks being me time so rather than thinking about them as a chore she has to try and fit in throughout the day it's 
something that is time for herself, time for her to create her own space. She's not having to do anything for anyone else. She's not having to do something around the house. She's doing something just for herself, just to look after herself. And creating that positive message to herself, that positive reinforcement to herself is really um, firing her forwards and in, in keeping things growing throughout the day. I encourage you to maybe even take that a step further. Think of your movement practice. Think of your movement breaks along the same lines as a delicious meal or a delicious snack you prepare for yourself. And it's going to feel really good and feel really good in your body and make you feel really good when you do it. So that's going to give you a really positive feeling. And even taking that yet another step further, you can even add your these movement breaks onto your meal times. So maybe you do have um, even if well even if you don't have a fixed meal time each day, you're probably going to eat at some point during the day. Why not say to yourself, okay, I'm going to do five minutes of stretching, or I'm going to do um, a little mini workout for five minutes or ten minutes before I have my evening meal, before I have my lunch, before I have my morning coffee, whatever that might be. And that way you're actually stacking the movement practice habit onto the habit of eating your meal. So this is just an, a couple of ideas. Hopefully some of these are useful for you. I realise that meal times can look very, very different on a day-to-day -day basis as well. And this is something else to really consider with your movement practice. Yes, it's lovely to take time to prepare a meal and prepare it with love and use all of the best ingredients and then sit down with your loved ones and your family and sit down at the table and have nice conversation and really enjoy the meal and make it a really special occasion. Yes, that's fantastic. But realistically, most of us don't have time for that every day or every meal time for sure. I know I don't. Often we are grabbing and going with our meals and whilst I wouldn't recommend it as the best course of action, of course it happens, I know I certainly do it when I'm busy, but think about it, you still have that meal for the most part, don't you? You know you're going to be hungry, you know you need to eat to keep the energy going. So for the same reason, try and consider your movement practice in the same way. Perhaps you haven't got time for that hour-long yoga practice or dance practice, whatever it is. Perhaps you haven't got time to do half an hour hit class, whatever it is that's your bag. But do still try and fit it in. If you're preparing that grab and go meal, which you know still you have to prepare it in some sort of way, can you add in just two minutes of something just to get your body moving, jogging on the spot, run around the garden, I don't know what, just a few little suggestions to um, get you going. Perhaps when you're making a cup of tea, you can run around the garden while the kettle's boiling. If you've been working with me on some muscle energy techniques, that's the perfect time to do these. So that's just a few ideas for you, hopefully to try and keep you going and sneaking in those um, movement morsels throughout the day. I would love to know what you think of these ideas, so please do drop some comments in the boxes below. I haven't seen any questions so far on the live video, so I'm going to shoot off in a second, but do please tag me if you have any thoughts or anything you'd like to share. I would love to hear from you if you have some good suggestions for people for getting in your movement breaks throughout the day. I'm going to be opening my strong motion program next Monday, so a week from today. I had a last group of 10 amazing clients who I worked with over the summer, and I've had some fantastic results, so I'm going to be sharing some of their feedback and some awesome progress pictures over the next few days. If you are interested in working with me, then there is a link to sign up to my mailing list. If you're not already on there, please do get on there because I'm going to be opening it up a couple of days early for people on my mailing list. and I've only got seven spaces available this time, so don't miss out. Okay, I think that's it for now. I haven't had any questions through. Thank you to everyone who's watched this live. Thank you if you're watching this on Catch Up. As before, please do give me a thumbs up or a little heart if you enjoyed this. And questions, comments, always welcome. Any suggestions for future things you'd like me to talk about, please let me know. I will see you next time. Take care, have a lovely evening. Bye bye.